Hi, in this video, I am going to show you how to create the best staff section in your Discord server. A staff section is important to have an organized Discord server. It helps you to keep the server a safe place and make people feel more comfortable. It also helps to get better staff, which is important to keep your server active and a safe place. Now let's start with the explanation. This video will have six parts. We are going to talk about staff permissions, a staff guide, weekly staff requirements, ban requests, staff strikes and staff checks. Let's talk about staff permissions. Staff permissions are very important when you talk about the safety of your Discord server. You do not want to give a staff member on their first day the ban permission, they first have to gain your trust and perform well. A little note here. Knowledge you need to have for this video are how to make roles and set up their permissions, how to make embed messages and how make channels and categories. If you do not know how to do all this, you can watch these videos, the links are in the description. These are the staff permissions I use for my own server and you can use as a template for your Discord server. As you may notice, there are no staff roles with the admin permission, this is because this is a very dangerous permission and you should only give it to people who you trust and maybe only if you know them in real life. To save you time, every long message that I mention in this video will be in the description. Now we are going to talk about a staff guide. A staff guide is important for your staff to know what they must do in specific situations. A staff guide prevents the staff from making wrong decisions. This staff guide will also be in the description. I suggest that you copy this staff guide and paste it into an embed message and send it to a private channel that only the staff team can see. Of course you can also add some things to this staff guide by yourself. This is just a template for you. Hey, are you bored? Do you want to win free Nitro? Do you want to share your artworks? Participate in weekly karaoke events and movie nights? At the Discord server, Strawberry Cafe we have it all. Come join us now and feel never lonely again. The link is in the description. Now we are going to talk about weekly staff requirements. To get the best performances out of your staff team and keep the best persons in and remove the bad ones, weekly staff requirements can help you with that. Here is a template for you, this is also in the description. I suggest you copy and paste this into an embed message and send it into a private channel that only the staff team can see. To filter the best staff out, you will have to do weekly staff checks. You must check if everyone met the weekly requirements we talked about earlier. Make a channel called Staff Checks and write every week the person's down and mention if they met the requirements or not. Now we can talk about staff strikes. Once a staff member didn't met the weekly requirements you have to write in a different channel called Staff Strikes. The name of the person and which strike it is, if it is the first, second, or third. At the third strike they will get removed from the staff team. At the first strike they will get demoted to a lower staff position. The last part of this video is about ban requests. Not every staff member has the permission to ban people. That's why you have to make a private channel called ban request. Staff without the ban permission can send in this channel a request to get someone banned. The higher staff can decide and ban the person. I suggest you pin a format at the beginning of that channel that staff can fill in. Like the example. This is the end of the video. I hope this helped you a lot and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Also remember to join the Discord server, Strawberry Cafe, the link is in the description. Bye.